Hi, I'm Julie Blanner, and today I am sharing the ultimate painting secret with you. This tip is the ultimate time saver when you are painting doors, cabinets, trim, furniture, and so much more. In fact, it's going to save you hours. I've been using this trick for years. It's tried and true, and I know that you're going to love it too. We all know that prep work is the best way to get an ultimate, durable, long-lasting finish on your cabinets, doors, trim, and more. However, there's a shortcut that makes this job so much easier, especially if you have any pieces with nooks and crannies. Those difficult areas are a struggle to sand, but you don't need to sand a thing. Instead, you can use sander deglosser. This is often called liquid deglosser. Whatever you call it, I call it magical. As I mentioned before, we have used this anywhere and everywhere. We've used it all throughout our home here in St. Louis. On our trim, we've used it on countless pieces of furniture and doors. And I can't say enough about it. It is the ultimate time saver. Liquid sander deglosser eliminates the finish of your existing piece. Whether it's painted or polyurethane, it kind of removes it and makes it really tacky and allows your next coat to adhere to it. It permanently eliminates the existing surface, allowing the new surface to stick to the old surface. It works on paint, varnish, lacquer, enamel, polyurethane, and stain. Essentially, any piece you have, it will take off and allow you to have the new surface, like your new paint, stick. It could not be any easier to apply. Before you apply liquid sander to glosser, I highly recommend cleaning the surface thoroughly. For areas like kitchen cabinets, I highly recommend using a degreaser to eliminate any oils. Once your surface is clean and dry, it's time to apply. Don't forget, safety first, it's best to wear goggles when applying liquid sander to glosser. Saturate a coarse lint-free cloth and apply in a circular motion. Fold and resaturate the cloth frequently to prevent redepositing of any dirt. Allow the surface to dry completely before doing a second coat if necessary. You may notice that your liquid sander to glosser leaves a hazy or foggy residue that's okay and fully expected. You can paint right over that surface. That is in fact when it's ready to go. After you've applied your liquid sander to glosser and you've allowed it to dry, you can paint over it as you wish. I highly recommend you use furniture paint and I have more of that in the next tutorial. I hope you enjoy this painting shortcut just as much as we have. Through the years, you'll find that it achieves a very chip-free finish and save so much time and money. Don't forget to click subscribe, ring that bell for notifications, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.